Hey YouTube, how are we going? Uh, I've got a different video for you guys today and it's going to be a little bit different to what we usually do where we make a build guide. Instead, I'm going to be focusing a little bit on interactions and trying a new YouTube series. So we're going to see how this goes. For reference, a few of my real life mates have just gotten into Last Epoch and they're playing the game pretty fresh and they've been asking me a whole bunch of questions and one of them was just like, you know, what should I do with this? And I was like, slam Frostbite, Frostbite's good. And they came back to me like, why is Frostbite good? And I, I wasn't able to respond for a while and they were like spinning on a few different things. And I eventually gave a good explanation which is gonna follow this, but I thought, hey, this is probably really good information for a lot of newer to even intermediate players. This probably isn't too difficult, but would you guys be interested in hearing more about interactions and small little piecewise modules that can fit into builds? Stuff that kind of goes behind the science of build making and build theory crafting. If so, please let me know. I'm going to try and put a few videos together. But for now, here is why Frostbite is considered the best element. Uh, okay. The reason why Frostbite is good is that there are a lot of ailments. However, there are only six ailments that can stack up infinitely. One corresponding to each damage type. Void does not have one. So they are Bleed, Ignite, Frostbite, um, Electrify, uh, what am I thinking of, um, Damned, and Poison. So that's the six that you can get that stack up infinitely. There are powerful ones that have stacks that you can scale really, really well, like Doom and stuff like that, but those are the six that can scap or go infinitely. So when you, you talk about like an ailment build, Usually it's one of those six, it's not something else. Frostbite is the best of them with probably bleed being second. Bleed you can do more and, and there are more bleed builds. Frostbite, if you have the support for it, it's amazing. And the reason why is because if you look at the damage of um, most of these, so bleed 53, uh, what do we got? Damned 35. Electrify 44, Frostbite 36. You're like, oh, okay, they're, they're not too different. And and most of the time, the application of them is kind of like in the same ballpark. You're going to get like between 500 to 1000 stacks, depending on what kind of build you are. Maybe sometimes you have a lot less, but you have like it inheriting huge more multipliers. So it works out well. Frostbite is awesome because it builds in CC in that it, um, most of the stuff that can freeze, uh, Frostbite makes it more easier to freeze as well as the things that apply Frostbite are usually cold skills, which can freeze, if that makes sense. So it, like, it works well in that aspect, but why it does giga damage is because you have snowdrifts. And snowdrifts are great. And if you look at the second line there, 2% cold penetration with frostbite per 10% freeze rate multi. So there are um, these things called damage buckets, which is just like the things that multiply together. And you can you can put more in, right? So if you have like increased cold damage and increased damage over time, both of them would add together. They wouldn't be like multiplicative with each other, right? The, the ones that matter, so you've got the amount of stacks on it, which is usually a function of how much you're applying in, like with whatever attacks you have, like your hits per second and your duration. So you can have frostbite duration and we'll talk about some really good gloves that go well with them, which is the frostbite shackles, right? Um, that's got a bit of frostbite duration on it as well as like a huge chance to frostbite on hit which is generic. It's very few sources of generic frostbite on hit. Um, then you've got your increased damage, your percent increased damage. So that is cold damage, damage over time, elemental damage over time, cold damage over time, um, your main stat. So if you use an ability like uh, that scales with attunement, usually it's like 4% more damage per point of attunement. You can look over your skill. All that stuff gets added together. Usually that bucket will be around like 800% to 1k and and so because it's such a big bucket it's usually not worth scaling you know massively however you do have access to elemental damage over time so whoops let's just say we pick a ring 
and we go Ella. We'll go damage over time. Damage, right? All affixes have these set, like very same affix bands, which is like cold damage is 40% to 60%, 40% to 60%. Elemental damage has a higher one, which is 71 to 110. So it's almost double at the top end. And you can look at like tier seven to 20%. So you can get a shit ton of elemental damage over time, which does affect Frostbite because it's a cold. Cold is elemental. So that's one thing. But the big one is the penetration. Most people do not have access to penetration. It's quite hard to get more than like 100% penetration unless there's like a specific skill that supports it. But Frostbite, so Snowdrifts, you can get this and you can just stack a lot of Frostbite Sorry, my goodness. You can stack a lot of freeze rate on your gear. So you can probably, like, with moderate gear, get around 1500%. Um, which, or you can get, like, uh, let's say, like, with some good gear, you get about 2k freeze rate. What that means is that you would get about 400% cold penetration with frostbite, which is 400% more damage, aka five times more damage. That's so much more than most other elements only getting like 20 to 50 times so 20 to 50 percent penetration aka 1.2 to 1.5 and here you're over five the swarm blade can go well beyond that and the reason why is in the swarm blade tree you have this node over here which is you get freeze rate multi per attunement and you get 30 percent of it so if you have a hundred attunement you will get 3k freeze rate multi, aka 600% penetration, which is seven times more damage. That's why. And you can go well beyond 3k as well. Um, and then the Swarm Blade is also really good at just like getting lots of hits. So you are able to scale up the amount of stacks you can get very quickly. Um, and you've just got like lots of support for you know additional penetration additional frostbite duration yeah it's it's pretty nutty